This is more about living in the time of the coronavirus epidemic. Attention right now is focused on that runoff election for the two Senate positions in Georgia. The balance of power, literally, is in those two races. The voting is scheduled to take place in two days, and from what I hear, both races are extremely close. Both sides are pouring money, nearly a billion dollars total, into the campaigns, and the dummy craps are registering thousands of new voters. Both the trumpet and the pander man are there cheering on their candidates. The two campaigns are the final pieces in the puzzle that will be our federal government. While I was walking this morning, I was thinking about the pander man. I don't think he's a bad person, but I do think he is weak and untruthful. Like many politicians, his first aim has always been to feather his nest, and by all accounts, he has done a good job of that. He's lost a wife, a daughter, and a son, and he burnishes his image with their memories. Most of all, he is the pander man. He would do anything to win your vote. He's all for platitudes. He avoids principle. He acts a moral paragon, but it's an act, nothing more. Most of what he is, is an act, a real change from the trumpet, who is always too busy being himself to even think about acting. Oh yes, the ascension of the pander man will work a real change in Washington, a huge shift. Someone said he should appoint Obama Lama as his Attorney General. I don't think it will happen, but Lordy, what a drama if he did it. As Cheney ran the bushes, so Obama Lama could supervise the pander man, make suggestions, indicate areas of interest, having a ball behind the scenes. That may be his role in any event. Advisor. Unlike the trumpet, who appointed people mostly so he could ignore them and fire them, the pander man will seek out help whenever he can. I think he trusts Obama Lama. One thing about the trumpet and Obama Lama, they were self-assured men and they each had an agenda. The pander man doesn't even have a clue. He's like a piñata. Smash him and the goodies all fall out. In an attempt to give the pander man some badly needed gravitas, some sand, some weight, I'm going to call him the PM from now on, as the Brits refer to their leader, the Prime Minister. In the past, we have flirted with incompetence in our highest elected office, but with the PM, we may have found ourselves a complete fool, the totality. But, and this is the really crucial question, is the PM made for kids? Yes, yes, and yes. He is a child's heart's desire. He's Captain Kangaroo. I think I was on to something when I was thinking about makers, people who make things. I trust them. Politicians do not make anything. I wholeheartedly do not trust them, a real liability for me in that th those people are our leaders. People who make things, anything, understand that process. A true creative person has to be honest. They cannot be otherwise. They are attuned to nature. Makers have what used to be prized in our society. Know-how. They know how to do things. People who are really clever have an almost magical quality. They also understand 
husbandry, and home economics. Two more lost arts. They avoid debt, if at all possible. The trumpet made deals. It's not manufacture, but it is making something. The PM steals other people's ideas and their words and says they are his own. He claims to have done things when he is not. It's scary how pathetic that is, especially in one who is supposed to be our leader. The man in charge of voting in Georgia, the Secretary of State, rejected all of the Trumpet's claims of widespread voter fraud. He was proud that only two instances of dead people voting had been documented. The COVID numbers are bad and experts expect the holiday effect will cause a new surge. The variant has been discovered in several more states. The vaccines, when mentioned, are always in some pipeline, on the way, not in people's arms. Politicians, like the field mouse, are full of explanations for how damnably difficult it is to deliver the vaccines to so many specifically targeted individuals. We are doing the best we can, they say. It's complicated.